Hey boys, we are back with the Parramatta Eels, and I'm like pumping these out tonight. I usually do these in like batches of recordings, but yeah, I've done like, this is like the fifth or sixth, so feeling good about this. We're up to the Eels. Let's get into it. And the Eels actually, I'm starting to like, I'm really starting to like the Eels this year. I don't know, they're just, their team, I enjoy their team. I enjoy the way they play. But yeah, let's get into it. William Hopperwhitey, 81. I'm looking at this, I'm a little surprised they have him so low. Uh, I feel like that's about right for him. I'm pretty surprised that they have him this low, but yeah, 81 I feel like is pretty good. I mean, yeah, he was away for like two years. It was like, yeah, it would have been two years with that Mormon thing. And, you know, I feel like he was a bit... when he, Before he went, I feel like it was a bit early for him to play like Origin and stuff, but... I feel like they talked him up a bit too much, but yeah, 81 is about fair. He's a good player. Then we got Vau Tautai. Or Vi. Vi. Vi Tautai? Yeah, it's Vi. 76. I don't know... God, this team looks really weird. I don't... Yeah. This is really not their pack line at all. Um, but Vau, Vi... Haven't seen too much. I feel like he's a fringe backup back. You know, he's not a starting back most times. Yeah, they usually have... Who have, who have they got? They've got John Folau, who is a beast. And I'm so excited that John Folau is the brother of Israel and he's in the NRL. And who's the other one? God, what's his name? He's a fella... I should know his name. I'm going to have a look down lower, but let's get to Ryan Morgan, 79. I don't, does Ryan Morgan actually start for them as well? He probably does, I think. 79, too high. I think Morgan is... He's solid, but I don't think he's that good. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I think a bit lower, mid-70s. He wouldn't start for me if I was making a team. Brad Tekarangi. I feel like this is a bit low. He's he's a very versatile player, you know, he can play. <laughs> I'm just looking at I'm looking at their positions right there. Second row center and prop. Yeah, I don't know if he's a prop, but he can definitely play like center. He can play half. I'm pretty sure he played like 5-8 for the Titans a couple of times. He played lock, second row. He's very versatile. He should be higher. Mid 80s, I think. Reese Robinson. Good player. I think, actually, does Reese Robinson, I think he's playing full back and Hopawati on the wing. I'm not too sure, actually. I think they mix it around a bit. But yeah, Reese Robinson, he's a good player. Pretty sure he's a cousin of Greg Inglis, and he's got... He's seriously fast. I'm looking at his speed, and it's 88. <laughs> Reese Robinson is extremely fast. I, I don't know how it's 88, but yeah. He's one of the quickest in the game. He should be, like, up 90s, probably 99. Yeah, Corey Norman, 80, actually 85, I feel like that's pretty good, yeah. Corey Norman, 86. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this as well, 86. Yeah, Norman, Norman, he seems to have so much potential, like he's so talented. He's got an amazing kicking game, he can do some amazing passes. He can play fullback, so his running game's really good. His defense is solid. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. His defense isn't bad. It's probably his weakest points, but I feel like 86 is right because he's pretty inconsistent. Pretty inconsistent. He's got all the talent. He's got all the tricks in the book, but I don't know. Just some games, he just doesn't seem to turn up. So I'd say 86 is pretty fair. Chris Sando with an 80. I don't know. That's a bit low. I'm looking. Oh my God. I'm looking at the speed stat here and his speed is 66. Chris Sando, he's like a little pocket rocket. He's fast as hell. Like, he's a guy that if he makes a break, if he gets like an intercept, he's generally going to go all the way. You know, I remember he getting chased down like by Reynolds that one game, but he's a fairly fast guy. So that's ridiculous. But <laughs> Back to the overall rankings, 80 is just, I don't know. I'd have him about, 
low to mid 80s. You know, he's he's a bit like Corey Norman. He's got all the tricks. Pretty inconsistent, but I feel like he's getting a lot better with Corey Norman. I feel like they're both sort of coming good as a duo. But then we got Darcy Lussick. Who, yeah, again, I'm not a big fan of Lussick. I feel like he's a decent prop. He's not, he's nothing special. He's sort of a bit like that Dane Weston. You know, he's an aggressive player. He came onto the scene and people were talking him up. And again, I don't feel like he's done anything. 76 is probably about right, though. Nathan Peets, 85. Yeah, I mean, most of the back, most of the... So you've got your really good dummy halves, like Smith was like a 95. Um, I'm assuming Robbie Farrow is going to be like a 90. And then you got the rest of the dummy halves, about 80, mid 80s to high 80s. And I feel like Peace is probably about right, 85. Maybe a bit low. Uh, it's hard to tell because he's been injured a fair bit this year. But he's a good player, he's a really good player. He's probably like... He's sort of on the verge of being the New South Wales side in my opinion. Um, but yeah, he's a good player. 85 is probably about right. Tim Manor, 75. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Tim Manor. I think 75 is about right. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm just not a big fan of him. He's a decent. He's a decent prop. Nothing special though. I, I feel like he's definitely better than Darcy Lussick, but yeah, I'd have Tim Manor about high 70s to. Maybe 80, but that's probably pushing it. Manu Mao, Manu Mu. It's definitely not Mu. Fucking hell. Some of these names, man. I, I, it's so annoying because I know what he's, I know what it sounds like. But Manu. Old Manu. He's, I feel like 75 is probably right for him. You know, he's, he's, he's still pretty new to the NRL. I don't know how many games he's played, but he seems like a, he seems like a rookie still. But he's a solid play. He's a he's a big boy. He's pretty devastating. Some t some runs he just powers, but 75 is probably pretty right for him. Then we got Tepe Moroa. I actually have never heard his first name, Tepe Moroa. But yeah, I know it's Moroa. Actually, I'm not sure where Moroa's been. Like he he started off the year like. An absolute gun like he was he was like one of the best forwards um last couple of weeks so I haven't seen him in the side I don't know he must be injured I know I watched him one game he like he was holding his shoulder he was holding his arm and he played like the rest of the game and he was still hitting blokes but I don't know if that like that happened a while ago so he's probably been out for a fair while but yeah he's a he's a player to watch he was a I think he's like a 20 year old still he's he's really young but a really good player. I'm looking forward to watching more of him. Like, he's one of those guys that just hits fellas. He runs hard. That's the type of forwards I like watching. 76 is probably right though. He's still really new to NRL. Anthony Wormo, 81. I'm pretty happy with 81 because I thought they were going to have him way higher, but... Yeah, I mean, he used to be one of the best back rowers in the game. Like, even I thought, like, I wasn't a big fan of Watmo, but when he used to play for Seagulls, like, a few years ago, he was, like, up there as the best back row, but I don't know. Just the last couple of years, he just has really not gone downhill as such, but he's really... He's just lost a bit of his spark. I don't know if it's from, from injuries. I know he had some... I know he's been having a lot of, like, rib injuries lately. Maybe that's, like, stopped him from being a real hard, hard hitter and a hard runner. Like, he used to... He used to come up with, like, the big hits in the team, but he doesn't really do that anymore. I don't know, probably old age getting to him a bit. <laughs> but yeah, he's a, he's a good solid player for the Eels. A good pickup for them. But 81's probably about right. Then we got Isaac... Isaac de Goyce with an 88. So... <laughs> so... <laughs> the, be the bench dummy half is... Like, three, three ratings higher than... The starting dummy half, and... I think the Goyce is definitely nowhere near an er an er <laughs> a New South Wales player, so I, I have no idea how he's 88. This is baffling to me. I've always liked watching the Goyce. Like, he's a little fella that just goes in and 
hits fellas, which I keep saying this episode, but, you know, he takes on the biggest guys and he lays them out. He does some, he's done some pretty big hits, but he's definitely done 88. He's a good defender, but his attack is definitely lacking. Like, he doesn't really add much in attack. 88, way too high. Should be like mid 70s. Joseph Paulo, 86, way too high. This guy, overrated. You know, he's probably going to turn out to be a pretty good player, but I, I don't know. He shot, I don't know, they they love him because he's one of these back rollers that can pass the ball. And people love that. Well, the commentators love it. But, yeah, he's never really done it for me. I mean, he sets up the odd try. I mean, I know Andrew Johns, every game I see Andrew Johns commentate, he's always talking up Paulo, Joseph Paulo, and I don't know, he's never really... He's never really won a game for them. He's never really changed the game. Even though John's probably would love to tell you he does. So 86, way too high. Should be like... You know, he's probably like 80. High 70s, 80. But yeah. He's skillful, but... I don't know. I don't think he's that tough. I don't... He doesn't like doing the hard work, honestly. Then we got Junior Paulo. I think he's brother. I'm pretty sure they're brothers. But Junior... I... <laughs> I don't know, I sort of like watching Junior a lot better than jo uh, Joseph. Junior is a... Damn, he's a big fella. He's one of these guys who just gets in there, runs hard. Um, I think this is another guy that's been out injured for the Eels for a while. But yeah, I'd probably have him a bit higher. I think 61's a bit low. I think he's shown enough in the few games he's played that he's definitely higher than this. I'd have him like 70s. Probably low 70s. Um, then we got Danny Weeks, 75. It's probably about right. I mean... <laughs> he, he come back from that fucking drug ban. I don't know where he's been, like, last few years. Uh, probably in Super League or some shit, but... Everyone, like, loves him back. I mean, whatever. I don't give a shit about Danny Weeks. Uh, all the commentators love watching him. Apparently... They all talk him up because he's back from exile, I guess. Don't think he's been that great for them. He's been solid, but nothing more. But yeah, let I oh, <laughs> there it is, Beretta Fremo, of course. That's the other back. So John Flower, and there we go. They're right next to each other, perfect. So Beretta Fremo should be higher. Uh watched him a lot in the Queensland Cup. He was an awesome player. He's solid, he's a big winger. And he's been really good for the Eels this year. Should be higher. Mid-70s. Actually, probably like high 70s. And then John Falea, 64, is way too low again. And what the fuck is he... John Falea apparently has footwork of one. I mean... I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't class him as an Israel type. He's more of a... He's more of just a... Um, just big hitter and like just charge into the fence. He's not more of a... He's not a dancer like Falea, but... Footwork of one is a little low, isn't it? He's he is a winger, he is a centre winger. I don't I, <laughs> I don't really understand where this one footwork's coming from, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, it should be way higher. You know, he's still very new, and I think his defence is pretty, you know, it's pretty iffy at times. But his attack is just so potent. He's such a strong man. Right, the tries he's scored, he just carries players and. I feel like his position is like second row, honestly. In the back row, he's gonna... He could turn out to be one of the, like, the best centers like Falao was, but... Or Israel, for that matter, but... I feel like his his spot is second row. Because he's he's more of like the running hard lines and collision type guy. But yeah, that's the, that's the Eels. A couple of weird ones, but overall pretty good. Here's the jerseys. Here's the jerseys. I like the Alton a lot better than their home, but that's just my opinion. Actually, their Clash one's really good. <laughs> I don't know, I like that. Yeah, that's the Eels. See you guys in the next one.